Put your seatbelts on. Pónganse los cinturones. And move some. We're gonna move pretty fast. Mm -hmm. Vamos a mover un poquito rápido. Because I'm speaking in English. Porque estoy hablando en inglés. And I don't know why I speak in English a lot faster. Y yo no sé por qué hablo en inglés. So good luck. Así Here we go. Luke chapter four. Luke chapter four. Verses fourteen through thirty. Verso catorce al treinta. Go to Luke. Vamos a Lucas. The Gospel of Luke. El el Evangelio de Lucas. The witness of Luke. El testimonio de Lucas. Of who Jesus is. De quién Jesús es. We've been talking about being a faithful witness. Hemos estado hablando de ser un, un testigo fiel. A faithful witness. Un testigo fiel. Is one that does things the right way. Es uno que hace las cosas correctamente. That means that they must investigate. Esto significa que tienen que investigar. And if you read in Luke chapter one. Y si lees en Lucas capítulo uno. Luke says that he investigated. Lucas dice que él investigó. So that he could give a good testimony. Para que él pudiese dar un buen right testimonio, un, un testimonio correcto. Así so, que right lo que estamos viendo en este pasaje que vamos a leer is, is a es una premisa, es una plataforma de todas las cosas que Jesús hace en nuestra so vida. Así que presten atención. Porque lo que quiero hablar con ustedes hoy is about the divine purpose of es, Jesus. es el divino propósito de Jesús. There's a divine purpose Hay un propósito divino for what Jesus came to the earth. para lo que Jesús vino a hacer esta tierra. Here go, Luke chapter four, Así que Lucas capítulo 4, 14 through 30. versículo 14 al 30. Then Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit to Galilee and news of him went through all the surrounding region and he taught in their synagogues being glorified by all. So he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up and as his custom was he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up to read and he was handed the book of the prophet Isaiah And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor, and he has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the recovery of sight to the blind, and to set to liberty those who are oppressed, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Then he closed the book and he gave it back to the attendant and sat down and the eyes of all who were in the synagogue were fixed on him and he began to say to them, Today, this scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. So all bore witness to him and marveled at the gracious words which proceeded out of his mouth and they said, Is this not Joseph's son? And he said to them, You will surely say this proverb to me, Physician, heal yourself. Whatever we have heard done in Capernaum, do also here in your country. Then he said, Assuredly, I say to you, no prophet is accepted in his own country. But I tell you the truth, many widows were in Israel in the days of Elijah, when the heaven was shut up three years and six months, and there was a great famine throughout all the land. But to none of them was Elijah sent except to Seraphath in the region of Sidon to a woman who was a widow. And many lepers were in Israel in the time of Elisha the prophet, and none of them was cleansed except Naaman the Syrian. So all those in the synagogue, when they heard these things, were filled with wrath and rose up and thrust him out of the city, and they led him out to the brow of the hill on which the city was built, that they might throw him down over the cliff. Then passing through the midst of them, he went his way. Y Jesús volvió en poder espíritu a Galilea y se difundió su fama por toda la tierra de alrededor. Y se llama en la sinagoga de ellos y era glorificado por todos. Vino a Nazaret donde se había criado y el día de reposo entró a la sinagoga conforme a su costumbre y se levantó a leer y, le dio, y se le dio el libro del profeta Isaías habiendo abierto el libro halló el lugar donde estaba escrito el Espíritu del Señor está sobre mí por cuanto me ha ungido para dar buenas nuevas a los pobres 
Me ha enviado a sanar los quebrantados de corazón, a pregonar libertad a los cautivos y vista a los ciegos, a poner en libertad a los oprimidos, a predicar el año agradable del Señor. Y enrollado el libro, lo dio al ministro y se sentó, y los ojos de todos en la sinagoga estaban fijos en él. Y comenzó a decirles, hoy se ha cumplido esta actitud delante de vosotros. Y todos daban buen testimonio de él y estaban maravillados de las palabras de gracia que salían de su boca y decían, ¿no es este el hijo de José? Y les dijo, sin duda me diréis este refrán, médico, cúrate a ti mismo de tantas cosas que hemos oído que se han hecho en Capernaum, haz también aquí en tu tierra. Y añadió, de cierto os digo que ningún profeta es acepto en su propia tierra. Y en, él, y en verdad os digo que muchas viudas habían en Israel en los días de Elías, cuando el cielo fue cerrado por tres años, el cielo fue cerrado por tres años y seis meses, y hubo una gran hambre en toda la tierra. Pero ninguna de ellas fue, fue enviado Elías, sino una mujer viuda en, en Sarepta de Sidón. Y muchos leprosos salían en Israel en el tiempo del profeta Eliseo, pero ninguno de ellos fue limpiado, sino Naamán, el sirio. Al oír estas cosas, todos en la sinagoga se llenaron de ira, y levantándose, le echaron fuera de la ciudad, y le llevaron hasta la cumbre del monte sobre el cual estaba edificado la ciudad de ellos para despe despeñarlo. Mas él pasó por el medio de ellos y se fue. So let me give you a picture of what we just read. Así que déjame darte un retrato de lo que acabamos de leer. Jesus, as we read last week, leímos la semana pasada que Jesús was taken by the Holy Spirit to the desert. Fue llevado por el Espíritu Santo to para el desierto para ser tentado. Of course, he comes out as a mighty conqueror. Así que sale como un gran con, con, uh, conquistador. Because he went in armed and dangerous. Porque él fue armado y peligroso. And the devil didn't know what to do with him. Y el diablo no sabía qué podía hacer con él. As Jesus stood strong. Así que como Jesús se mantuvo firme. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Por el poder del Espíritu Santo. On the authority of God's word. Por la autoridad de la palabra de Dios. And so Jesus now comes out. Out of the desert. Así que Jesús en ese momento sale del desierto. And the Bible tells us he comes out full of the power of the Holy Spirit. Y la palabra dice que sale lleno del espíritu del poder del Espíritu he Santo. He doesn't come out after having been tempted. Él no sale al ser tentado. Tired. Cansado. Like, oh. Oh. I made it. Oh. No I made survived it. the temptation. No sobreviví la tentación. But rather he comes out. Pero sale. And he puts it. He sheathes his sword. Guarda su su espada. su espada. To do business. Y va a hacer la labor. And the Bible tells us. La palabra dice. That he went to the region of Galilee. Que fue a la región de Galilea. And he preached in the towns of Galilee. Y predicó en la en los pueblos de Galilea. In the synagogues. En la sinagoga. But in this one Saturday, Pero en este sábado, he's actually in his hometown. Él está en su casa, and on Saturday he goes to the synagogue. Y el sábado él va a la sinagoga, and he stands up. Y se levanta, so then he help me out here. Sí, que mala. See the synagogue is the place of gathering. Así que la sinagoga es el lugar de, de encuentro. And we're going to talk a little bit about this in a moment. Y vamos a hablar un poco de esto en un momento. There's a difference between a synagogue. Hay una diferencia entre una sinagoga and the temple. Y el templo. There were synagogues. Había sinagogas where the people of God gathered. Donde la gente, el pueblo de Dios, se reunía to learn. para aprender. They gathered to to greet each other. Se se reunían para saludarse los unos a los otros. To discuss the scriptures. Y discutir las escrituras. And to learn. Y aprender. The temple. El templo. Is the place where they would go to offer sacrifice. Era el lugar donde iban a ofrecer sacrificio. In agreement with God's design. De acuerdo al diseño de Dios. So there is one temple. Así que hay un templo. And many synagogues. Y muchas sinagogas. You understand this? Get it? This is important. It's important. There was only one temple. Solamente había un templo. In Jerusalem. In Jerusalem. But there were synagogues in every city. Pero había sinagogas en cada ciudad. This is. I want to just take a moment to explain this to you. Quiero un momento para para poder explicarle esto. Because historically, porque históricamente, the churches thought that this building, la iglesia pensaba que este edificio is the temple. Es el templo. And it is not the temple. Y no es el templo. Because Jesus Christ established a new temple. Porque Cristo Jesús estableció un nuevo templo. He abolished 
temple worship. El destruyó la adoración de Dios. Él abolished temple worship. El derrumbó y destruyó la adoración de Dios. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Y dice, yo soy el camino, la verdad y la vida. I am the temple. Yo soy el templo. And then he called the body of Christ. Y llamó al cuerpo de Cristo. The temple of the Holy Spirit. El templo del Espíritu Santo. This building. Este edificio. Is not the temple. No es el templo. It was built by human hands. Ese fue construido por manos humanas. God does not abide here. Y Dios no habita. Just because this is a place of worship. Solo porque sea un lugar de adoración. This is more of a synagogue. Esto es más como una sinagoga. A place of gathering. Un lugar donde de reunión. Where the temple of the Holy Spirit. Donde el templo del Espíritu Santo. Gathers together. Se reúne. To seek the true temple of Jesus Christ. Para buscar el verdadero templo que es Cristo Jesús. Right, you got that. Okay. All right, done. I'm gonna walk away. That's so important. It's so important. Listen, we 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 revere things that we shouldn't. Así que a veces adoramos, reveramos, damos reverencia, reverencia a cosas que no lo merecen. So what happens when we when you have a church that enters the temple of God? Y qué sucede cuando una cuando se se hace un llamado para el templo de Dios? Y las personas I'm like, what? Yeah. I tell you, this is like a scene. You know what I mean? When we gather to see how awesome Jesus is, and you don't go to stay in the church. And you don't go to stay in the church. And you don't go to stay in the church. And you don't go to stay in the church. And you don't go to stay in the church. No, 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 no te atrevas a darle ánimo a tu equipo. No te atrevas a brincar. Right? You know what I mean? It's a place of worship. Es un lugar de adoración. A place where we get to celebrate with Jesus. Un lugar donde queremos, podemos celebrar en Jesús. Oh, yeah, that, that's a different message. Eso es otro mensaje. Sí, All right? So in that place of gathering. Así que en ese lugar de, de reunión. The reason I think that is because he's all of it. Yo la razón por la que podía venir porque era viva. En Jesús fue todo. Ah, no quiero decir nada. Y y Jesús fue todo viva. Es judío. Alright, es algo viva. Es nada de los dos. Es nada de los dos. Es nada de los dos. Así de. En todo el día. I know that Jesus film makes him white and blue. Yo sé que la 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 película de Jesús lo hace blanco o más azul. Pero era con el arco. Era judío. Era judío. And this guy looks more like what? Like what happened to Jesus? So, so in that place of gathering, where Jesus didn't step up out of order, Jesus no se paró, estaba fuera de orden. There was an order that happened in the synagogue. Había un orden que había en la sinagoga. Generally, two priests would read. Generalmente, dos sacerdotes. Five other members of the synagogue would get up. Y cinco miembros más de la sinagoga se levantaban. And in that turn, Jesus got up. Y en ese en su momento, Jesús se levantó. And they all wanted him to. Y todos querían que se levantara. They had already heard about what he had done in Capernaum. Okay, ya habían oído de lo que él había hecho en Capernaum. He had done some healings in Capernaum. Ya hecho sanidades. And they heard that. Who? 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 And so Jesus gets up. Así que Jesús se levanta. And he goes to the attendant of the synagogue. Y va al 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 que atiende la sinagoga. Who had the scroll? Que tenía los rollos. He was in charge of the scroll. Él estaba encargado de esos rollos. And he said. May I have the book of Isaiah? The scroll of Isaiah. So you can imagine that that attendant kind of looking not like this through a book, but the scroll. Y mira, y lo podéis imaginar encargado buscando a través de los rollos. Until he found Isaiah. Hasta que encuentra Isaías. And he handed it to Jesus. Se lo da él. And then Jesus went to the place in Isaiah 61. Y Jesús va al lugar donde está Isaías 61. He found that place. Encontró ese lugar. And he began to read out loud to him. Y comenzó a leer a voz alta. The spirit of the sovereign Lord is upon me. El espíritu del Dios todo poderoso está sobre mí. And he does this proclamation. Y hace esta proclamación. And after having read Isaiah 61, what we know of. Y después de leer Isaías 61, nosotros conocemos. 61, one and two. Que nosotros lo conocemos como 61. Close the scroll. Cierra el rollo. Hand it back to the attendant. He dropped the mic. Suelta el micrófono. And he walked back to his seat. El va de nuevo a sentarse. And he sat down. Y se sienta. And everybody just looked. Y todos se quedaron mirando. Everybody looked at me. Todo el mundo mira mal. 
And then he said, when Jesus said one more time, hey, can I borrow the mic one more time? Y Jesús dice en ese momento, ¿puedo coger el micrófono? Se and he says, today before your very hearing, he dice, hoy, ante todos ustedes, in your hearing, en tu oír, this has been fulfilled. Esto se ha cumplido. And he's making a powerful, powerful proclamation. Una poderosa, poderosa Not only about who he is, no solo de quién es él, but what his purpose is. Pero lo que su es. And I told him we we're going to talk about divine purpose. Y vamos a hoy del divino, del Jesus divino. wants to do something very powerful in you who are here today. Jesús quiere hacer algo impresionante en ti que está so pay attention. Listen, listen, listen to me real quick. Escucha. Perhaps. The greatest question we have to answer is, who is Jesus? Quizá la pregunta más importante que te puedes hacer es quién es Jesús. Who is Jesus? Quién es Jesús? Who is Jesus to you? Quién es Jesús? That is the number one question you must ask. Es la pregunta número uno. And you need to, and you need to be able to answer. Y tienes que estar poder contestarlo. Now, if you read further in the story, así que si lees un poco más en la historia, the man of Nazareth, el hombre de Nazaret, only saw him, solo lo vio, as the son of Joseph, como el hijo de José. But let me tell you, pero déjame decirte, that Jesus was no son of Joseph. Que Jesús no era un hijo de José. He was the son of God. Él era el hijo de Dios. He is the son of God. Él es el hijo de Dios. And they robbed themselves. Y se robaron of a very powerful truth de una verdadera, muy poderosa verdad. because they answered the question incorrectly who is Jesus? Es Jesus? the answer that you and I give to this question la respuesta que tú y yo nos damos a esta pregunta has eternal value for our lives tiene un valor eterno See, para nuestra vida Jesus came into the world así que sabes Jesús vino al mundo because God loved the world porque Dios amó al mundo and he came into the world with divine purpose y vino al mundo con un propósito he came with a mission from heaven con una misión del cielo and he came to fulfill God's prophetic plan for the redemption of man y vino a cumplir el propósito divino para el hombre the prophetic Plan. El propósito profético. That's right. The prophetic plan. El propósito profético. Of God's redemptive plan. De, de la plan de, de, de redención de Dios. He was prophetically announced. Era proféticamente anunciado. That the Messiah would one day come. De que el Mesías un día vendría. And, and Isaiah 61 testifies of him. Isaiah 61 testifica. And Jesus gets up. Y Jesús se levanta. And he says, I am he. Who the prophet, prophet Isaiah spoke. El que el profeta Isaías mencionó. This has been fulfilled in the history of Israel. Now this redemption. Así que esta redención. Would provide for man. Proveería al mundo. Everything that he needed. Todo lo que necesitaba. Everything that he needed. Todo lo que se God's redemption would provide for him. La redención de Dios proveería. Everything that he needed. Todo lo que necesitaría. The only thing he had to do. Lo único que tenía que hacer. Was to receive the message. Es recibir el mensaje. Of the one that was sent to proclaim. De aquel que fue enviado a proclamarlo. That's what you and I know as the gospel. Y eso es lo que tú y yo conocemos como el evangelio. So Jesus was purpose-driven. Así que Jesús tenía un propósito. Estaba guiado por un propósito. You know, as Jesus comes out of the desert. Así como Jesús sale del desierto. Last week we talked about the desert. La semana pasada hablamos del desierto. It wasn't necessarily a, a, a sandy place with cactuses. Que no necesariamente era un lugar arenoso con cactus. That rather the the word desert in the Hebrew. Sino por la palabra desierto en hebreo. Referred to a wilderness. Se refería a una a algo silvestre. Right. A place of solitude. Lugar de, de, an uninhabited place. Lugar no habitado. Solitario. Lugar solitario. Right? Like if I go right now to Car Canyon. Ahora mismo si yo voy a Car Canyon. And I'm all by myself. Y estoy por mi propia cuenta. That is a desert. Eso es un desert. It's an uninhabited place. Porque no está habitado. Right? Especially if I get off the trail. Especialmente si me salgo de la camino. And that's where Jesus goes. O de la pera. And when he goes to Jesus. And when he when he comes out. Y cuando sale. Again, the Bible tells us that he comes out full of the power of the Holy Spirit. Dice que está de lleno del Espíritu del Espíritu Santo. Because you need to understand. Así que tienes que entender. That temptation. Que la tentación. Is a tool. Es una herramienta. To either break you. Para hacerte. Or sharpen you. 
para romperte o para afilarte. Get that? Que so temptation is a tool. Eh, la, la tentación es una herramienta. To break you, para romper o sharpen you, o para afilarte. But Jesus, pero Jesús, having exercised authority over temptation, habiendo ejercido eh, autoridad sobre la tentación, he returns in power. Él regresa con poder. And what does he do? ¿Qué hace? He gets right to work. Se, se va a trabajar otra vez. Because he continues on with this deep conviction. Porque él continúa con una convicción profunda. That he had when he was 12 years old. Que él tenía cuando tenía 12 años. As we read in Luke chapter 2 verse 49. Cuando leímos en, en Lucas capítulo 2 verso 49. That he must be about his father's business. Que le, que le, le pretendía o le conseguía estar en los asuntos de su padre. You know sometimes. Follow me. Sometimes, one of the reasons that we are not living in the power of the Holy Spirit is because God moves in our lives. And then you know what we do? Sorry, okay. We sit down. That's awesome. Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh, yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah, bro. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, uh. And then eventually, just what happens when you see You don't fall asleep. You know what I mean? Okay. I was in Nelson's house last night. We just, no, Friday night. Last night, too. Right? Yeah. Okay. Last night. Well, Friday night, I was in Nelson's house. We had prayer we had just gotten done with this amazing youth time. Acabamos de terminar un momento tremendo de joven. Beautiful thing. Cosas hermosas que pasaron por ahí. And so I went to his house. And I just got to pray. Comencé a orar. As I get there, I walk in. You already feel the presence of God. I'm so excited. I'm so motivated. From what we just experienced, I'm just pacing, I'm just worshiping God, and you just feel this awesome presence of God. Yeah, and I just feel this awesome presence of God. Yeah, and I just feel this awesome presence of God. Yeah, and I just feel this awesome presence of God. Yeah, and I just feel this awesome presence of God. Yeah, and I just feel this awesome presence of God. Yeah, and I just feel this awesome presence of God. Yeah, and I just feel this awesome presence of God. Yeah, and I just feel this awesome presence of God. Yeah, and I just feel this awesome presence of God. Yeah, and I just feel this awesome presence of God. Yeah, and I just feel this awesome presence of God. Yeah, and I just feel this awesome presence of God. Yeah, and I just feel this awesome presence of God. Yeah, and I just feel this awesome presence of God. Yeah, and I just feel this awesome presence of God. Yeah, and I just feel this awesome presence of God. Yeah, and I just feel this awesome presence of God. Yeah, and I just feel this awesome presence of God. Yeah, and I just feel this awesome presence of God. Yeah, and I just feel this awesome presence of God. Yeah, and I just feel this awesome presence of God. Uh, uh, and then guess what? Sorry, I got tired. I realized I've been going all day. Me di cuenta que había estado trabajando todo el día. I worked all day. Trabajé todo el día. I pretty much went home and changed. Me fui a casa y me cambié. And then I came here to the church. Yo vine aquí a la iglesia. And then I led worship. Y después de ir a la oración para los jóvenes. And then I preached to you. And then I ministered to you. Y después de ir a los jóvenes. As long as I was still going, I had supernatural strength. But the moment I sat down, my body told me, "Dude, you're tired." You're tired. I'm tired. Oh, I'm tired. And it's okay to rest. Don't get me wrong, it's okay to rest. But the reason for resting is to recharge your batteries to get right back to work. Do you know what I'm saying? See, I got up Saturday morning and the world was still turning. And I was like, oh, that was such a good presence of God. Oh, that was such a good presence of God. Oh, that was such a good presence of God. Oh, you know what I mean? It was right. It was time to get right back to work. And Jesus, at 12 years old, had a deep conviction in his heart. That he expresses. I must. 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 I And momentum. Es que su vida continúa con propósito y con momentum. Because see, this moment that Jesus walks into that synagogue. Porque en el momento que Jesús camina en y entra en esa sinagoga. Was not a moment that he came in without first warming up. No, no fue un momento que él entró sin antes haberse calentado. He had been preparing for this 
Simón que se había estado preparando para ese momento. Sí, that day at the temple. El día en el templo. The scriptures tell us. Si tú la dices. In Luke 2:52. That he was growing in wisdom, stature, and favor. Y Jesús crecía sabiduría y en estatura y en gracia para con Dios y los hombres. And then later in Luke 3:21. Y Lucas en 3:21. That Jesus was baptized. Dice que Jesús fue bautizado. He was preparing for this moment. Él se estaba preparando para este momento. When he was going to make this powerful proclamation. Cuando iba a hacer esta proclamación poderosa. To the people of his town. A la gente de su pueblo. Listen, when a batter goes up to bat. Eh, escucha, cuando un bateador va a batear. Before he gets up to the plate. Antes de subirse al, al, al podio. There's this place. Hay, hay un lugar where he warms up donde calienta. and he's sitting there y está ahí. and he lines up y se alinea. and he waits at the actual batter in front of him y, y, y se posiciona frente al bateador. he positions himself just like the batter in front Así of him como el bateador que está frente a él. and he watches as the pitcher throws y mira mientras el pitcher va, va lanzando la bola. and he watches the pitcher's timing y ve el tiempo del lanzador. and he swings just as if he was up at the plate y le da en la, a, como la, a, similar a como le da el, el, el matador so that when he gets up to the plate así que cuando él va al podio he's already warmed up está, 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 está. he already knows the timing of the pitcher ya sabe cuál es el tiempo exacto del lanzador he knows the, the, the tendencies of the pitcher él conoce y ve la tendencia del, del lanzador he, he knows the motion the throwing motion of the pitcher él sabe los movimientos y la forma de lanzamiento del lanzador and that's why he does that es que and Jesus y Jesús had been in that batter's box había estado en ese or, or what do you call that place? the deck Jesus had been on deck había estado en esa, en esa deck, en ese right? Podio. he had been on deck estaba ahí. for 18 years for 18 años. 18 years he had been on deck estaba ahí en el Pre podio preparing for this moment preparándose para este momento so that he could do what he needed to para hacer lo que tenía que hacer and he passes the test y pasa la prueba up in the wilderness ahí en la en, en, en lugar de ser desolado and in verse 15 he tells us y en el verso 15 that he had been teaching in their synagogues que había estado enseñando a sus sinagogas and now he comes to the synagogue of Nazareth y ahora viene a la sinagoga de Nazareth and he does this amazing proclamation y hace esta proclamación tremenda and here's the message are you ready? ¿está listo para empezar? here's the message I just have to take a moment before I share that this, this hit me last night and this is so important okay. the world today El mundo hoy tells us that the Bible that we have today nos dice que la Biblia que tenemos hoy has been perverted ha sido pervertido through history a través de la historia that we can't trust it que no podemos confiar because if the devil can make you mistrust the Bible porque si el diablo puede hacer que te confíes de la palabra it takes away your strength te roba de tu fuerza and so he says that, that the, the Bible had been mistranslated and it por eso se dice que la Biblia ha sido traducida equivocadamente y no sabía si conocía de esto that in existence today pero en existencia hoy there are over 50,000 ancient manuscripts of the Bible. Hay sobre 50,000 manuscritos antiguos de la Biblia. You understand this? Entiendes esto? There are over 50,000 ancient manuscripts of the Bible. Hay sobre 50,000 manuscritos antiguos sobre la Biblia. The next book, el próximo libro, that has even a remote, you know, number of a group, large number of ancient manuscripts is Homer's Iliad which was originally, originally written in Greek and there are just over a thousand ancient manuscripts you understand Homer Homero the most ancient manuscripts that there are lo, lo más antiguo, are yeah. within like 300 years of when the original was written. And there are over 1,000 
copies of that. Yeah, it's already been copied by the ancient manuscripts. Now I've never heard a single person. Yo no he caído una sola persona. Oh, you know what we read in the Iliad? Sabes qué es lo que leemos en el Iliad? That's not what Homer wrote. Eso no fue lo que escribió Homer. It's been perverted throughout the time. It's been mistranslated. It's been traduced in Greek. It was originally written in Greek. How can we trust that it was written in Greek? No one mistrusts what Homer wrote. But everybody mistrusts what Jesus, what God wrote. Pero todos desconfían de Dios escribió. Oh man, you gotta get this. There are over fifty. Thousand ancient manuscripts. And the reason I bring that up is because when Jesus was in Nazareth, he goes to the synagogue. They understand Nazareth was not a major metropolitan. Have you ever been to the New York Library or? Like a major library, like a huge library. You know what I mean? They're awesome. Son asombrosos. I mean, I've been to the University of Arizona library. He ido a la librería de la Universidad de Arizona. It's like ten stories. Es como de diez pisos. And it's got books and books and books and books. And see, Nazareth was more like Sierra Vista. Y de Nazaret es más como Sierra Vista. Have you ever been to our library? Han ido a la librería de nosotros. He's got a few books. Yeah, man, I don't know you. Nazareth was not a major metropolitan area. Nazareth era una área metropolitana. And yet, when Jesus walks into that synagogue, sin embargo, cuando Jesús camina a esa sinagoga, they had full copies. Tenían todas las copias of all the manuscripts. De todos los manuscritos. Why is that important? Porque es importante. You know why we have 50,000 manuscripts? Because there was a lot of synagogues. And if each synagogue had its own set of manuscripts, that they trusted as the original copies, then you and I know that the Bible that we read is faithful to the author, the Holy Spirit. El Espíritu Santo. All right. Why is that important? Because then the message of salvation is protected. Entonces el mensaje de salvación es protegido. And Jesus gets up y Jesús se levanta. And he intentionally, intencionalmente, reads out of Isaiah. Lee intencionalmente de Isaías. And the message that he reads, y el mensaje que lee, is very important. Es muy importante. And it speaks to the specific purpose. Y ella habla específicamente con un propósito. Of the redemption of man. Que habla de la redención de la humanidad. Go with me to Luke chapter four once again. De una vez más conmigo acá. Verses eighteen and nine. Verso dieciocho a diecinueve. Listen to the intentionality of Jesus Christ. Escucha la intencionalidad de Jesús. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because He has anointed me to preach that gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, and to set at liberty those who are oppressed, and to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. And then in verse 21 he says, today this scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. El Espíritu del Señor está sobre mí, por cuanto me ha ungido para dar buenas nuevas a los pobres, y me ha enviado a sanar a los quebrantados de corazón, y pregonar libertad a los cautivos, y vista a los ciegos, a poner en libertad a los oprimidos, a predicar el año agradable del Señor. Y el verso 21 dice, y comenzó a decirles, hoy se ha cumplido esta escritura delante de nosotros. There are seven things that I want you to note about this message. Number one, from verse 21, he says this passage of scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. Make note of that. In your hearing, you heard it. You heard the proclamation of the message. See, Jesus didn't say, "Today, this passage is fulfilled before your very eyes." No, si él no dijo este pasaje se cumplió frente a tus propios ojos. He says, "This passage is fulfilled in your hearing." Este pasaje dice este pasaje se cumplió en tu oído. Number two. 
Jesus proclaims himself to be the Messiah. Jesús se proclama como el Mesías. Now, two things you need to know about that. Number one, Dos cosas que tienen que entender. the Hebrews believed this was a messianic passage. Los hebreos creían que este era un pasaje mesiánico. Number two, Jesus actually says, I am the anointed one. Y, y, y número dos, Jesús dice, yo soy el ungido. Which is what the word Messiah means. Es que es lo que significa la palabra the anointed one. El ungido. What does he say? The spirit of the sovereign Lord is upon me because he was what? El Espíritu de Santo Dios está sobre mí porque, me, porque me ha ungido. He has anointed. Él me ha ungido. Jesus says, I am the Messiah. Jesús dice, yo soy el Mesías. Number three. Number three. He proclaims that he has been anointed to preach the gospel, the good news of the kingdom. Proclama que él ha, que él ha sido o que él ha sido ungido para predicar el evangelio, para las buenas nuevas, de salvación para los pobres. To the poor. And here's a mistake that we make. Es un error que cometemos. Jesus is not saying, I only got sent to preach the gospel to the poor. No dice que solamente fui enviado a predicar el evangelio a los pobres. This is a very specific group of people that are poor. Esto es un grupo específico que son pobres. Right? Who are they poor? Quienes son pobres. Those that need salvation. Aquellos que necesitan salvación. So let's see who's counted in that. Let's see. Uh, ¿Quién está con todo esto? Oh, yeah. uh, Everyone. Okay. Todos. He's, he sent to preach the gospel to the poor. Él fue enviado a predicar el evangelio de la buena nueva a los pobres. Those that need salvation. Que son aquellos que necesitan four. salvación. Número cuatro. He proclaims that he has anointed anointing, sorry, which is a God-given ability to heal the broken hearted. proclama que él ha sido ungido, que es una habilidad dada de parte de Dios para sanar a los rotos de corazón. What this means is that he has been anointed to restore the soul of man. ¿Qué significa esto? Que él ha sido enviado para restaurar el alma de los hombres. He's going to preach the good news to everyone that needs salvation. Va a predicar la buena nueva para todo aquel que necesita salvación. And he has been sent to heal the soul of man. Ha sido enviado a sanar el alma de los que no está. The next one is, number five, número cinco. He proclaims that he has been anointed to proclaim liberty to the captives and also to set them free. Él declara que él ha sido ungido para proclamar para proclamar libertad, ¿verdad? A los cautivos. Y también this means no more bondages and oppressions Jesus is going to preach the gospel to those that need salvation he's going to restore the soul of man listen to me he's going to break off every chain every bondage everything that would hinder you he's going to proclaim it he's going to do it and number six number six he proclaims that he can restore vision to those who have none the Bible states by the prophet Isaiah that spiritual blindness que la cegadura eh, espiritual is an effect of sin in our life. es un efecto, una causa de pecado so en nuestra vida do for you así que lo que Dios va a hacer contigo es restaurar visión y propósito He's gonna preach salvation va a predicar salvación a aquellos que son pobres aquellos que necesitan salvación He's gonna va a restaurar el alma del hombre He's gonna break off every and number seven he proclaims that this is the year of the Lord's favor what's he going to do? he's going to preach the good news to those that need salvation he's going to restore the soul of man he's going to set She's going to set the captives free. Number four. What is it? Right, what was number four? He was going to, no, that was already done. Number four is that he was going to restore vision and purpose. And number five. He's going to be with you. This is the year of the Lord's family. And you have to understand this. Listen to this. Escúcheme, escúcheme, esto es tan importante. Si lees en Isaías 61, the very 
next line. La próxima línea o la que continúa. In Isaiah 61. En Isaías 61. Read and the day of the vengeance of our God. Y dice el día de la venganza de nuestro Dios. Now I told you Jesus is very intentional. Y, y quiero decirle eso es bien there's, intencional. There's a reason why he didn't say and the day of the vengeance. Y, y hay una razón específica por la que la, la cadena no continúa y dijo el día de la venganza. Because that is yet to come. Porque eso todavía está por venir. Hay un día que dice que es el día terrible de la presencia. El gran y terrible día del Señor. Y todavía está por venir. Jesús dice que estas cinco cosas han sido cumplidas frente a tu oído. Y la próxima que está por venir. Él va a venir. Él va a venir. Él va a aplastar el enemigo. Literalmente, he's going to crush the head of the enemy. La cabeza del enemigo. If you read Revelation, he calls him the old serpent. Si lees el libro de Revelación, le llaman la serpiente. And the Bible says that he will be chained up. Y dice la Biblia que él va a estar atado. In front of everyone. Frente a todos. He's going to take vengeance. Y va a tomar venganza frente a su enemigo. But why is the other stuff so important? Y por qué es que está importante para nosotros? Because his message. Porque su mensaje is his purpose. Es su propósito. His message is his purpose. Su mensaje es su propósito. And his purpose is outlined by the message. Y su y su propósito está eh, identificado por su mensaje. Jesus is the Savior. Jesucristo es el Salvador. He's going to save those that need salvation. Él va a salvar a aquellos que necesitan salvación. Jesus is the healer of man's soul. Jesucristo es el sanador de la alma. Jesus is the deliverer. Of the men of men. Jesucristo es aquel que nos trae, que nos trae esa nación. Jesus is the restorer of vision. Jesucristo es el que restaura nuestra visión. And Jesus is the one that accompanies us wherever we go. Jesucristo es el que nos acompaña donde quiera que vamos. By His Holy Spirit. Por su Espíritu Santo. If we have Jesus, we have favor. Si tenemos a Jesucristo, tenemos favor. We are living under the year of the Lord's favor. Estamos viviendo en el año del favor de Dios. That's why Jesus said, "Lo, I am with you always." Por eso que Jesús dice, "He aquí que estoy con ustedes para siempre." End of the hasta el fin de los tiempos. Again, the Bible says y de nuevo la Biblia dice that this message is was fulfilled before their hearing. Que este mensaje fue cumplido por su escucha, por su oído, 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 por su I want to tell you. Lo que quiero decirte es that they did not respond properly. Ellos no respondieron apropiadamente. What was their response? ¿Cuál fue su respuesta? Did they respond with faith? Respondieron con fe. If they were going to be saved, si iban a ser salvos, it was in that very moment. Hubiese sido en ese mismo momento. Faith was available to them in that very moment. La fe estaba disponible para ellos en ese momento. They had already heard about. Habían escuchado ya lo que Jesús estaba haciendo. El versículo 22 dice: They all bore witness and even marvelled at His words. Dice en el versículo 22 que todos ellos fueron testigos de su grandeza. Y se maravillaban. Y se maravillaban. Si ellos iban a ser salvos, iban a ser en ese momento. The gospel was standing right in front of them. El evangelio estaba allí delante de ellos. Because they were going to be saved. The gospel was standing right in front of them. El evangelio estaba literalmente frente a ellos. Their ignorance. Ignorancia. Their ignorance took hold. Is it not answer? And here came the devil. And he went and did it. And in their hardness of heart, he stole the seed of faith. Yes, in the the dureza of their hearts, he robbed the seed of faith. And he says, "Is this Joseph's son?" Yes, he says, "Is this not the son of Joseph?" Is this just Joseph's son? Is this just Joseph's son? And the enemy came. And the enemy came. And the enemy came. And he stole the seed. The world said, "Ida." And instead of being saved, in vez de ser salvos, they responded with wrath. Respondieron con ira. This is what the rest of the scripture says. Lo que dice el resto de la escritura. And listen, after this moment, Jesus continues to give them more opportunity. Y y escucha, después de esto, Jesucristo le da más oportunidad. He gives them another saying. Le da otro dicho más. And the reason this happens is so that they are left without excuse. 
es que son dejados sin ninguna excusa. Oh, what happened? Pero qué pasa? What happened in their hearts in that moment? ¿Qué pasó en sus corazones en ese momento? Matthew chapter 13 actually gives us more insight into what happened. Mateo capítulo 13 nos da más 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 visión o una visión más de lo que sucedió. In this very moment when he walks to Nazareth, he said, Jesus says, a prophet is only without honor in his own hometown. You know what they did? Is they didn't honor Jesus. They didn't honor Jesus. And I believe that sometimes as a church we are very guilty of this. Y yo creo que nosotros como iglesia a veces somos culpables de We don't honor Jesus. No honramos a Jesús. Later on in the gospel, we were going to read the story of Zacchaeus. Más adelante vamos a leer la historia de Zacchaeo en el libro de Lucas. And Zacchaeus is probably one of my favorite Bibles. Y Zacchaeo es quizá una de mis historias favoritas. Because he was discarded by society. Porque él fue descartado por la sociedad. People didn't want to be with him because of what he had chosen. Of what he had chosen. Of what he had chosen. As a profession. As a como profesión. But when 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 Zacchaeus hears, pero cuando Zacchaeus escucha that Jesus is walking through his town, que Jesús está caminando por su pueblo, he wasn't about to let that moment get wasted. Iba a dejar que ese momento pasara por esa persona. And he climbs up on a sycamore tree. Y se trepa en un árbol de sycamore. Just see Jesus. If he can hear his message, si escuchar su mensaje, Jesus looks at him. Jesús lo ve. Says Zacchaeus. Y le dice a Zacchaeo. I see you. Te veo. I see you. Veo tu rostro. I'm coming to your house. Voy para tu casa. I'm gonna change your life. Yo voy a cambiar tu vida. I'm gonna save you. Yo voy a salvarte. I'm gonna restore your soul. Voy a restaurar tu alma. I'm gonna free you of your chains. Voy a liberarte de tus cadenas. I'm gonna give you purpose. Voy a darte propósito. I'm gonna be with you from now on. Y voy a estar contigo de ahora en adelante. That story is so powerful. Esa es tan impresionante, tan poderosa. So powerful, tan poderosa. She needs to get this. Tienes que entender esto. Every Sunday. Cada domingo, Jesus shows up at our church. Jesús se hace presente en nuestra iglesia. He shows up at our church. Él se hace presente. You can feel His presence. Tú puedes sentir su presencia. But we don't honor Him. Pero no lo honramos. Next Sunday. Es un honor. Next Sunday, I'll let Jesus set me free. Próximo domingo, voy a dejar. Next Sunday, I'll let my soul be restored. Próximo domingo, voy a dejar que se recupere. Today, let me just hold on to my anger. Hoy yo me quiero aguantar. Let me hold on to my hurt. Quiero aguantarme de mis heridas. Next Sunday, I'll let Jesus set me free. El domingo que viene, voy a dejar que me suspendiera. Today, let me just drag my chains. Hoy déjame arreglar mis cadenas y cargarlas. Let me just be in bondage in my mind. Déjame ser atado en mi mente. Let the torment continue in my mind. We don't honor Jesus. No damos a Jesús. And the seeds of faith fly all around us. Y las semillas de la fe están alrededor de nosotros. And we don't honor Jesus. Pero no damos a Jesús. And we miss it. We miss it. We miss it. We forget it. We forget it. Listen to me, please. Escucha. The day of the vengeance of our Lord. El día de la venganza de Dios. Is in fact. De hecho. And in that day, in this day, he will absolutely, absolutely separate the sheep, va a separar las ovejas from the goats, de las cabras. And the Bible says that many will say in that day, y y dice la Biblia la palabra que en ese día muchos dirán, Did we not in your name do this? No hicimos esto en tu nombre. I went to church every Sunday. Yo fui a la iglesia todos los domingos. En tu nombre. Y Jesús le va a decir, aparta de mí. Hacedor de mal. I never knew. Yo nunca te conocí. In Matthew chapter 13, verses 53 to 59. En Mateo capítulo 13. The Bible actually tells us that they were offended at him. They did not honor him, and they were full of unbelief. En Mateo 13, 53 a 59 dice que que eran ofendidos de él, se ofendían de él, 
no lo honraron y estaban llenos de incredulidad. So the question then is, so the pregunta es, how are you going to respond, respond to Jesus? ¿Cómo tú vas a responder a Jesús? Are you going to honor and receive him? ¿Vas a honrarlo? As the sent son of God. ¿Vas a recibirlo como el enviado hijo de Dios? Or are you going to be offended at his message? ¿O vas a ser ofendido por su mensaje? And take him out to the edge of the city and throw him out. Al, al borde de la ciudad y tirarlo. Cast him out of your life. Sácalo de tu vida. The men of Nazareth were blinded by their own pride. Los hombres de Nazaret estaban llenos, cegados por su propia. They could not see that the man standing right in front of them. Egoísmo, su propio orgullo, no podían ver que el hombre que estaba frente a ellos. Was no mere man. No era un mero hombre. Jesus is no mere man. Jesús no es un mero hombre. He is the answer. Él es la respuesta. To man's every need. Para la necesidad, toda la necesidad del mundo. Who is Jesus to you? Who is Jesus for you? Who is he? I told you the number one question you need to ask. I told you the question number one that you need to ask. Who is Jesus to you? Who is Jesus for you? Don't let God's moments pass you by. No dejes que los momentos de Jesús pasen por tu vida. The Bible says this. La Biblia dice. This day, today, 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 today is the day of salvation. The day of salvation. You know what? There's a saying. So we can be sure. You know when is the best day to plant a tree? So I want to have the best day to plant a tree. Twenty years ago. Twenty years ago. That's a big thing. You know what's the second best day to plant a tree? ¿Sabes cuál es el segundo día mejor para plantar un árbol? Maybe 20 years ago, oh, if I had done this 20 years ago, my life would have been better. Quizás hace 20 años mi vida pudo haber sido mejor. You're right. Es cierto. Today is the second best day to plant a tree. Solo día es segundo mejor día. And if you continue to read there in Isaiah 60, si continúan leyendo ahí en Isaías. The Bible says that they will be known. La Biblia dice que se conocerán as the oaks of righteousness. Como los cedros de la justicia. A planting of the Lord. Un sembrador del Señor. You are meant to be an oak. Tú estás diseñado para ser un cedro de justicia. I don't know if you know this. No sé si sabías eso. Oak is strong. Pero un cedro es fuerte. Es un fuerte, muy fuerte. Es una fuerte madera. No es la madera más bonita, pero es la más fuerte. You may not be the prettiest in the kingdom. Tú no puedes, tú no quizás no seas el más lindo en el reino de los cielos, pero puedes ser el más fuerte. I want to be the prettiest. Y cuando digo de lindo, I'm not talking about how you look physically. Y no, no te hablo de cómo tú te ves físicamente. See when David came in to worship the Lord. Ve cuando David vino a adorar al Señor. He wasn't dancing pretty. Él no estaba bailando con él. Él no estaba extendiendo su repetida. La Biblia dice que él estaba bailando violentamente. Violentamente frente al Señor. Delante del Señor. No había extensión. No había nada. No había nada. There was some wild dancing. Había un un bailar bien salvaje. Many of us, ven muchos de nosotros, we're stubborn as a mule. Somos pedro como mula. You know what's awesome when a mule gets saved? Pero sabes que es lo asombroso de que una mula sea salva? When a mule gets broken, cuando una mula se 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 quebranta, he's the most efficient animal. Es el animal más eficiente. No va a ser el más bonito, pero dice que se ve muy bien. Yo quiero retarte, mi Dios. ¿Qué vas a hacer tú? ¿Qué vas a hacer tú? Say what a great message, Pastor. Oh, qué mensaje más bonito. I love it, joy. Oh, lo disfruté tanto. Eso no te hace ni tú ni. What are you gonna do? ¿Qué vas a hacer tú? How long are you going to sustain your hurt? Cuando vas, cuánto más vas a sostener tu herida? 
or your bondages o tus ataduras how long cuanto más or you can say no o cuando van a decir no más amado de Dios Cal de, cal de, lo, de la soledad lleno del Espíritu Santo lleno de poder and I'm preach it every single y voy a predicarlo a todos no sé dónde tú estés con el caminar tuyo con el Espíritu Santo pero yo sí creo que podemos ir más allá yo no creo que haya ninguno aquí que pueda decir que hay que si ya yo soy como los sweeties I don't think we're at the measure. Yo no creo que estamos a la medida. So we can all go further. So podemos ir más. I want to change. Y yo quiero retarte. That you would get a spirit of a violent mule. Que tengas un espíritu de la nula violenta. A David anointing. Un una visión de David. To dance like a crazy man. A bailar como un salvaje. A crazy short little man. Como un un salvaje pequeño. That will climb up a sycamore tree. Que lo suficientemente valiente para ser el más de un sicómoro. No solamente para ver si puede ver a Jesús. I want to miss the lights, just turn down. Vamos a ver un poco. At this moment, I'm done with my message. Yo, en este momento ya terminé mi mensaje. I'm done preaching. Ya yo terminé de predicar. You're welcome to leave. I bless you. Eres bienvenido para salir. Te bendigo en el nombre de Jesús.